Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School. It is Lady Cats action tonight from the den. They're hosting the Virgins Commodores. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. James, take it away. And in there we see Virgins with a quick fast break layup. Now Davison down with the rebound. She's going to push the pace. Davison finds Luther, Luther on the far wing. Now that is Ella Gillespie. Ella Gillespie. Davison, deep three, no good. James Salvis, of course, doing the play-by-play -play tonight. I'm going to kick back and do some color. Griff on camera, Liz on tech. Good times. Oh, Haley Michaud there misses the layup. <clears throat> Down with it there. That is number five, Kyra Bradford. She's going to bring it up for the Commodores. She's picked up tight by Tessa Luther on defense. Now Bradford with it, finds a pass. Over there finds Little. Little inside, thought she got fouled, no good. Alexis Christensen with the rebound. She's a sharpshooter from what I recall a couple years ago, she, Lance. Yes, yeah, she is very, very good. Now Davison finds Luther up at the top of the key. Luther drives inside, gets stripped. Now rebound down with it, that's Bradford. She's gonna bring it up for the Virgins Commodores. Over with it now, that is Little. Little nice bounce pass inside, finds Jacobson. Oh, spins to the rack and a foul underneath. I believe Jasmine Little went up strong with that one. She's going to head to the line. No, that's Kyra Bradford. She's going to head to the line. The foul will be on number four, Alexis Christensen, her first on the evening for the Lady Cats. Lance, you see Virgens has a lot of size tonight. Uh, and that was one thing that Coach Lumsden brought up uh, pregame when I was talking to him as uh, Bradford makes her first foul shot. Number 24, uh, Finley Jacobson, he said, we're definitely going to have to keep her in check. He also said that uh, Virginia is a very good shooting team, and the key to the game is going to be to get our people to get their hands in the faces of uh, the Virginia shooters. Yes, that's what I heard. Very big, very well shooting team. Now you see Christensen is going to bring it up for the Lady Cats. Now she'll find Luther. Luther now back to Davison. Davison takes it inside. Oh, Caitlin Davison, a little boogaloo to the rim there. K -K 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 Caitlin has been red hot this season so far. You know, if your last name's Davison, you're one heck of an athlete here at Hazen Union, I can tell you that. A lot of lineage there. A lot of lineage in that name. Her brother Cody was a heck of an athlete. Chris Davison uh, was excellent. Uh, Jen Davison. Yep. It's amazing. Inside, Jacobson with it now. She missed it. Christensen's going to push the pace. We have a 2 2 tie here. Just early in the first quarter. Now inside, that is. Gillespie. Ella. Yes. She came down from Craftsbury. She is, you know, one of those deals where, you know, if the team, if the school can't uh, have a team, they they can play for a, a neighboring school. So yes. she came down uh, from Crassbury, and she has been really good inside for us. Yeah, trust me, I know about that. That's the same at uh, PA, you know, for baseball. The Stokes right. come play for us. Now Davison, nice and out dribble, spins to the rack, finds Misho up off the window. She can't get it. Davison gets the rebound. She also can't get it. Now Bradford's going to push the pace. Oh, nice full court pass for Jacobson who missed it. Ooh, the Wildcats, I think they'll take that one because Jacobson's not going to miss many of those. No, turn around inside like that. Luther now, inside pass, nice nice wow. pass inside. Davison throws it up, no good. Davison having a little uh, trouble around the hoop tonight, I think with the Virgin size. She'll get it lined up. She sure will. Inside, oh, could have been a foul there. Oh, Misha. Oh. You know the long lineage of uh, Michos here as well. Definitely. Three of them play on uh, the varsity boys team. And Aaron started all three of the Mitchett boys last night. Yes, the yes. Mitchett boys are quite good. Yes, they are. Gabe, uh, Morgan, and of course the president, Lincoln Mitchett. Yes. Seed section nickname? up, that's my nickname for Lincoln, the Prez we call him. I actually had a class at Linden with Lincoln this year. Coincidentally, Lance, he was that's there for early college. Oh, excellent, which class was that? It was a class called Food for Thought, it was a science class. Excellent. Davison inside, now finds uh, Mitchell. <coughs> Outside, Gillespie finds Luther. Luther now top of the key, Christensen. Gillespie. Oh, Gillespie tees up the three, that's up off the back iron, no good. Rebound down, stolen away by Davison. Nice bounce pass for Mitchell, and she gets it. Bucket and the bruise for Haley Mitchell. Hailstorm goes to the line, looking to complete the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Yes, getting three the hard way, Lance. That's right. Getting three the hard way. 5.02 left to go in the first. Cats up 
The free throw was no good there by Haley Mitchell. She'll have two points on the evening. Long skip pass inside finds Finley Jacobson. Outside with it, that is Bradford. Nice pass over to Ava Alameda. She'll get her first bucket of the evening. Ava Alameda. Let me give our sponsors a quick read here, uh, James. We did it at the top of the program, but things action's been fast and fierce as Caitlin goes in. Gets a, Caitlin just got a bucket for us. Yes, Caitlin Davison, nice layup there at the rack. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Uh, Jumpstart your future. There you go, Mitchett with the nice rebound. Yes, thank you to all of our sponsors that helped make this possible. Christensen now is gonna push the pace for the Wildcats. We could not be us without them. Very true, now Luther with it. Looked like she wanted to shoot the three there, Lance, but elected to take it inside. Yeah, Tessa's been a little hesitant to shoot so far this season. She's played some outstanding defense, made some great passes, and she has a ton of assists. Uh, you know, like, I you know, rest my case right there. She's sort of, she ready to have it, but players still got the uh, hoop. Kyra Bradford there picks up her, her first basket of the night. She's two for two at the free throw line, so she's got four. 6-6, six, six, your score. Oh, that did everything. That halfway down in. the cylinder. Speaking of which is uh, <clears throat> way inside, Finley Jacobson gets the basket. And there's that height and size. And uh, Billy Waller takes a timeout with uh, Commodores up 8-6. Let's see, James, if I could, my daughter Lydia is down representing Hazen in gymnastics tonight in Middlebury, and I have a couple of scores here that I could pass along to you. Uh, she got a 7.6 on her bars. She got an 8.2 on her vault. Uh, she did a 7.5 on floor. Um, said she fell, but she's okay. And she fell on beam, too, and scored a 7.8, so... Uh, Lydia struggling a little bit down there in Middleburg. That's a long bus ride to go for a gym sure. list, you know. Oh, sure is. Let me tell you, Lance, we don't play them uh, at Linden for basketball, so I don't know what it's like to go down there, but I have been to Middlebury before, and so it's it it, a haul from yeah, pretty much anywhere in the state. You can't get there from here. No, you just you can't. <laughs> anyway, girls come in with a record of 3-1. and one. They lost their opening game up in Enosburg uh, a couple weeks ago, and then since that, a little home cooking is what they needed. They beat uh, Danville. Oxbow and Richford, and handled them well. Yes, Luther with it now. Finds uh, Gillespie. Gillespie, she'll keep it. Finds Christensen. Outside with it there, finds Luther. Luther now finds Davison. That's a good dynamic duel right there. You want to talk about a one-two punch yeah. with Tessa Luther and Caitlin Davison. Yes, the barefoot Contessa and KK Caitlin. Whether it's on the soccer field or the basketball court, they're fun to watch, those two. They sure are. And they're only juniors, so we'll yeah. get them back next Can't year, too. Can't wait for next year. Yep. I mean, I can, because it's going to come quick enough. But There was a foul underneath. That's going to be on number two, Ava Francis. She'll pick up her first of the evening for the Commodores. Gillespie, and just inside the three-point line, throws up a Missed shot. Missed it. Nice rebound for Davison. Yes. Gillespie looking to... Davison made a cut. Just Nothing lost there. it out of bounds. As tomorrow night, the boys will be in action here. That's right, they're, they're hosting the Oxbow Olympians. Yes, up the court with it now, that's Bradford. Speaking of Bradford, that's where the Oxbow Olympians are from. That's right, nice area. Now Stearns. Stearns now finds Sullivan, uh, Francis, I'm sorry. Inside, that's no good, rebound down, oh, no good. And that was a nice rebound there by Julia de Grosliers. Caitlin. Davison with it, finds Luther. Finds Christensen, she'll let it fly. That's up no good off the other side of the backboard. Davison does a nice job to fight for it down low, but can't get it. Let me tell you, Lance, you know, Alexa Christensen is not afraid to let that three ball fly. Yeah, and she's made a bunch of them. She sure has. The A to the B in the Christensen connection. Yes. Five second call. And folks, when he says the A to the B in the Christensen connection, he means Alexis and Bailey Christensen. That's right the sisters that are on this Wildcat team, much like the Baker brothers, which was the Isaiah, the Ida J connection. That's right, the fabulous Baker boys. Yes. Julia. Oh, nice rip there by Julia DeGrosliers and finds Alexis Christensen, the mid-range J, good to go. Two, nothing but net, sweet shot. Tickled the twine there, as I like to say. There we go, yes. I go to that one occasionally, but you know that's yours, so I try to let you have it. 
Yeah. Every once in a while, I get in a tickle to twine. You can use it, Lance. Bradford off the rebound. She'll float it up no good. Rebound. Oh, nice rebound. Oh, Caitlin Davison and number two, Ava Francis, getting a little chippy under the hoop there. Was it two or was it five? Was it, was, I thought it was number five. That was two, I believe, Lance. Oh, Ava okay. Francis. At least right. they looked it from here. But yeah, it looked like Caitlin was going to rip it away. and then uh, My four eyes could have lied to me. Referee Don Taylor called the jump ball. Possession arrow gave the ball to the Commodores. Yep, in with it now. That is Stearns. Stearns now finds Francis. Over now, uh, Sullivan with it. Sullivan takes it inside, looked for. Nice pass. That was a nice pass. Francis, not, I don't think she was quite ready for it. No, I don't think Francis thought that pass was coming across the lane like that. Now to inbound. Oh, up top. Right idea now, number two, Ava Francis with it. Now you see, Lance, I learned more about the backcourt violation call. If it's tipped into the backcourt, you can go get it. But if it's not, right. it's a backcourt. Oh, up top, just lost it. Now Davison's going to bring it up. Looked like she had a little bit of room to run, but then couldn't find nothing. Tessa nice Luther with it now. Close on defense by number 11 there. Now DeGrosley airs, finds Christensen. Christensen inside looking for it. Can't find nothing. Now Luther with it. Oh, Luther gets it stripped away by number four, Kaylin Sullivan. Sullivan takes it inside. That's no good. I guess that's a block for Tessa Luther. One fifteen left to go in a fast moving first period here. Score tight, 8-8. Eight, eight. Ava Alameda is going to take a break for Virgins. Elena LeBeau, Lebeau is going to come in. Isabel Gowan in now for the Cats. She is super quick. Yes, Gowan the freshman. So the Wildcats are looking forward to having her for a long time in the program. Fantastic athlete. Did she play soccer, Lance? She did. She's awesome. She's only going to get better. I believe it. That's the good thing about coming into the freshman being on varsity. You have so much time to get better. Inside now, that is for Kendra Jackson. She lost it outside, found LeBeau. Oh, and LeBeau gets it stripped. Speaking of Gowan, there yeah. she is. She is a little gnat out there on the field, on the floor, just in everybody. There, Tessa. Yeah, see, Tessa yeah. Luther, let that one go. The only shot you don't make is the one you don't take. Tessa Luther with a three, puts the Cats up through. 48 seconds left in the first. 11 8, your score. Blocked by DeGrosliere. Caitlin comes out with it. Stolen away by Caitlin Davison. Up, up finds Tessa Luther. Now top of the key, Davison with it. Oh, she'll shoot the three. You know she ain't scared to. No, short. Rebound Kay Francis. Caitlin Davison and Alexis Christensen. I think you'd call them the Splash Sisters, kind of like the Splash Bros of yes. Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson. Both excellent three-point shooters. Student section coming alive. And I'll tell you, the student section has done really well this season for bo on both sides. Yes, I agree. You know, that's one thing I always loved about commentating games here, Lance. You hear it during basketball games, they just love it. Lo love the student section here, how loud they are, how supportive they are, the Lady Cats, and how the Lady Cats are for the uh, regular Cats. 9.2 on the clock, Cats up three. Virgenz will inbounds underneath their own baskets. Yes, that is number two, Ava Francis to inbound. Watch them to get the ball to Jacobson inside maybe no gonna take an outside shot yes that was a quick pass into ashton stearns who missed the three now davison she's got time with two seconds launches a deep three that's oh, up no good off. they call that uh you know in high school lance we called that yellow line there we called that baker range <laughs> yes indeed so at the end of one it's the cats up 11 to 8. uh let's do our sponsors here uh buffalo mountain power sports 472-5522 we support hayes athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, uh, LNS, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Applications now open for any GMTCC program. Lance Hall with the call, doing color tonight. James Salvas doing the play-by-play. -play. Griff on camera, Liz on tech. What do you think, James? Ben, you know, it was a really action-packed first half. We saw a lot of, you know, really fast-paced action here in the first quarter. You know, Virgens has a lot of size a lot on of the Wildcats speed. and a lot of speed, too. They haven't taken as many outside shots as I was expecting, Lance. No, they've been more content to work the ball inside with Jacobson inside. You know, they got the height in there. And uh, who are they? Francis is tall, and uh, Bradford is tall as well. Yes. And, uh, so. You know who um, uh, Finley Jacobson reminds me a lot of, Lance? Allie Gabary. Mm hmm You know, just mm -hmm. tall, could use your size yep. and strength to kind of get in there and score really well. Absolutely. Boy, Allie Gabri, what an athlete she was. She was amazing. Excellent soccer player as well. Very good goalie. Yeah. Yes. 
So start of the second now. Cats looking to build up their lead here. Davison with it. She's going to do a nice in-out dribble. Her brother Cody is in attendance. Mm -hmm. Davison steps left, shoots it. No good. Boy, that looked like Cody right there. It did. A lot of similarities in their game. Bradford with it now. Bradford, I think, is one of the better players for the Virgins Commodores from what I've seen in the early going. Inside with it, Jacobson outside. She'll find Sullivan. That was a nice fake to the rack. Sullivan was wide open for that outside shot. Instead, they're, wor they're working on working it in. They are. Maybe trying to use the size, but Jacobson hasn't got anything going, and now Gowan's going to get the steal. Gowan slows it down now. Top of the key, she'll find Christensen. Up top, Tessa Luther. She'll let another one go. Why not? That's up no good. Don't blame her for taking it, though. Nice no. shot to take. Exactly. She's made one. Why not take another? Exactly. They call that a heat check. Ah, okay. Sullivan. Now it finds Jacobson back inside. Yeah. Sullivan goes up. Try oh, yeah, I thought, I thought she kind of hopped. One too many steps there. Yeah, McLaughlin right there with the call. We're standing right there watching her. I Jam thought I saw a little bit of a hop. And Jasmine Little's going to come in for Elena LeBeau for the Commodores. And she's immediately going to pick up Davis in full court, and that's a tough task. Keeping Caitlin, you know, honest here. Caitlin looking to go coast to coast, coast short. Caitlin is off to a rough start tonight for the Lady Cats. Bradford now. Oh, Bradford, she'll just stop an and pop shot. and get it. Yeah. Knots it up at 11, three-pointer with 6.33 left to go in the calf. Kyra Bradford has seven of her, her team's 11. Good shooter. Isabel. Now, Gowan takes it inside. She's stuffed at the rack. Elena Gowan, man, she got blocked hard there, Lance. Yeah, you got to give Isabel props for driving inside like that. But oh, yeah. And she's fearless. Oh, no fear at all. Now outside. Oh, nice fake there by Sullivan to the rack. No good. I was going to say, blow your whistle. Tie up. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Commodores. Or I'm sorry, was it Sullivan that hit that three, Lance? For Virgin number four, right? I think it was. Uh, yes, Kaylin Sullivan. Okay. That's who I saw make it. Yeah, because I gave it to Kyra Bradford on but accident. But again, James, I've called a lot of basketball in the last two weeks, so. Oh, yeah. Here to give you a little bit of relief. Oh, Gowan took it inside. Yep, that's Gowan, a travel. Took yeah. one too many steps. Sarah Collier's going to check in. Who's going to come out? Caitlin's going to come out and get a little bit of a breather. I love Caitlin's shoes, the pink. Yes. Gowan, she a lot of very vibrant shoes on the court for oh, the Lady Cats. Oh, yeah. Now Bradford, she'll find Francis. They are, they are true fashion plates. Inside Bradford, outside with it. I'll tell you, Jacobson throws some really great passes inside there. She does. Oh, nice rip away there by Gowan. You uh, see the no a, fear. Yeah, we're going to have a foul, though. I don't. Foul called on Isabel for the block. Yep. Ashton Stern's going to check in, and uh, Francis is going to come out. Yeah, Isabel Gowan's going to get her first foul of the evening for the Lady Cats. Now pass inside, Jacobson gets it to go. Finley Jacobson with her second basket of the night. She's got four. Pretty tough for Julia to defense that. Yes, Christensen now finds uh, Collier. Yeah, Collier man. took it inside, couldn't find nothing outside with it. Julia the freshman and Jacobson the senior, so a lot of experience there. Yep, now DeGrosliere is with it. Outside. Gowan lets one fly, that's Oh, strong. Gowan, up off the backboard, no good. Tried to use the window there. Tried to. Rebound Sullivan. Five minutes left to go in the first half. Virgen's up 13-11. Outside number 22, that is uh, Ashton Stern. She'll miss the jumper. Randy Lumps is going to take a timeout with 4.54 left to go here in the first half with Commodores, a two-point lead, 13-11. Let's uh, jump into a little bit of my trivia, James. It was on this day in 1891, the first basketball game based on the James Naismith rules was played in Springfield, Massachusetts. 131 years ago today. Yes, that's uh, crazy. I was talking to Coach uh, Dan Hudson about that earlier today in, in, the, in the back room here, and I was getting ready. He said, oh, yes, it's true. And I said, were you there, Dan? He said, yes. He was yeah. there. Uh, you know that cyrogenic freezing that you do, like what Walt did? Yeah. That's, what the, that's what they did with Dan. So he was, he yeah. was able to do that. You know, Dan Hudson, great to see him in attendance. Saw him at a lot of baseball games yes. last year. So, you know, very, very prominent name here. Absolutely. Great coach, great uh, athletic director. Vice was principal, I believe. Yes, he was vice principal when I was here. 
was also on this day in 1981 that Cincinnati beat Bradley 75-73 in seven overtimes. In basketball? In basketball, men's basketball. You see, that's one thing, you know, folks, you can always count on with Lance Hall, the little trivia to put into the broadcast. Oh, I've got some good stuff for a little bit later on here, if we have time. If we have time, you know, sprinkle it in here and there. You got to, you know, just yeah. time out once in a while, you know, you got to get right. in there. Virgen's, uh, of course, coming up from Addison County. Virgen's is known as the little city on the falls. Yes, Virgen's a nice area. It is. Yep, Middlebury, Virgen's area. Now to grows the ears. Oh, poked away there. Nice steal by number four, Kalen Sullivan. Now Bradford, full court, skip pass for Jacobson. Couldn't get it. Poked away there. Luther's, Luther's going to get the steal. Throws it inside. Collier, Collier. was up ahead. Oh. Nice turn. Look there. Uh, who was that that went down hard? Because Sullivan went down hard back there as, as Sarah got the turn. Collier ripped that one out of there like Ric Flair. Yeah, she did. Woo! Inside Jacobson. She'll float it up off the back iron. No good. She'll fight for the rebound. Won't get it. Luther. It's going to go off Tessa. It's going to give the Jens the ball. Nice hustle there by Tessa Luther trying to get that one back. To inbound now, that is going to be Kyra Bradford. Oh, poked away by Haley Mitchett. Oh, inside with it there. Oh, Stern, she had her pocket picked. Alexis Christensen there, she'll find Collier. Oh, Collier hits Goes the ground hard. hard. Oof. That floor is unforgiving. It sure is. I've fallen on it. Now Bradford, she'll find Sullivan. Sullivan inside. Oh, what nice a pass, pass from Jacobson. Man. Oh, wow. Jacobson with a pass that to Bradford. A... Dime dropping delight, as they would say, Lance. Foul ends up being called on Bradford. It's number two for her. She's got to be careful now in a little bit of foul trouble. Christensen goes down. We got bodies all over the floor out here. Kyra Bradford, speaking of which, she's going to pick up her third foul, Lance. With 3.31 left to go in the first half, so she's going to have to be real careful. She's been yeah. playing well out there. She's going to take a seat for a minute. Number 11, Ava Alameda is going to come in for her. Now with it, Christensen. Side Hailstorm, nowhere to go. Fights it back. Isabel back. Over to Tessa. Luther takes an inside nice bounce pass, pass for Mitchell, and she gets it. Hailstorm. Ties it up 13-13 with 3.13 left in the first half. A lot of 13s up there for a moment. Yes, Haley Mitchell with her second basket of the evening. Up top, no. Sullivan faked the three, didn't shoot it. Now Little takes it inside. Wasn't very little there on no. the drive, but Luther's going to steal it. Luther goes coast to coast. She's going to spin out, find Christensen. Now top of the key, Gowan with it. Gowan finds Christensen. Christensen, floater, that's up no good. Christensen has hit the one three on the evening. Or that she had the two pointer, I'm sorry. Now Luther, she'll pick up uh, Alameda. Yeah, Jacobson, you know. Sky hook. Kareem Abdul Jabbar right there. Yes, Kareem Abdul Jacobson. <laughs> so good inside, you know, yeah. her size and skill around the basket. Pick Coach, Coach Lumsden was worried about her. Stolen uh, away. Gonna say she she took a lot of steps there. She sure did. Caitlin Sullivan or Kaylin Sullivan took one too many steps there. Now Alexis Christensen. We haven't seen the A to B connection yet. So what we I do. mean, and what I that is Bailey Christensen has not checked in the game yet for the Lady Cats. Now number 22. That's uh, Ashton Stearns. Now Jacobson, outside finds Sullivan. Dips oh, underneath. Sullivan up off the glass, no good. A little dipsy do in there. Hailstorm gets the rebound. Barefoot Contessa up to Christian, knocked away. Yes, that's poked away and out of bounds by number 10, Jasmine Little. Caitlin Davison's gonna check back in. She'll come in for Sarah Collier. Good minutes for Collier. Yeah, she played well. She Very did. Very well. 141 Christensen, left to go. Oh, 
Oh, bucket and the yeah. bruise. Caitlin Davison, as soon as she checks in the game, makes her presence felt, Lance. Ties the score for 15. Caitlin will go to the line. Caitlin with six on the evening. As Ella Gillespie is going to come back in, as you said, she goes to Craftsbury, right? Yes. Lance? Yep. She came down from Craftsbury. And Davison tickled the twine on the free throw, gets it to go. She's got seven on the evening, leads all Lady Cat scorers. Is now Alameda with it. Knocked away by Caitlin. It'll stay, oh, it'll stay Commodore Ball. When I hear Alameda, it reminds me of the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. There we go. Where the Oakland Raiders and Athletics used to play. Yes. Ricky Henderson for you Athletics fans, Dennis Eckersley. Canseco, Francis with it. Oh! What a hand, that was a handoff there. Mm -hmm. Man, that looked like uh, Troy Aikman to. What, what do they call the fan section for the Raiders games there in, in, in that stadium? Uh, they, they had a name for it, I can't remember it now, but everybody dressed up, you know, and everything looked, looked like the Road Warriors meet, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's very rowdy fans there in yeah. Las Vegas. Oh, it looked like Luther wanted to make the cut there, and Gillespie was ready to find her, but Tessa wasn't ready to make the cut. Yeah, now, one minute left to go in the half. Yep, skip pass up. Francis with it. Nice in-out dribble finds uh, Jacobson inside, outside Alameda. Now with it is LeBeau. Oh, Jacobson, turn around. She's got go. that turnaround going good. She does. Finley Jacobson, Lance has eight points. Inside Luther with it. Luther outside finds Davison. Davison inside, she's fouled. She's go to the line. That'll be on 11, Ava Alameda. And while we've got a moment, I have uh, where uh, Lydia placed down there at the gymnastics meet in Middlebury. She came, and this is for her age group, age level, whatever. Uh, she came in first in vault, second on bars, second on beam, third on floor, and second all around. Congrats, Lydia, that's awesome. Yep. Representing Hazen in gymnastics. Davison missed the free throw. Gillespie with the rebound and kissed it off the glass and got it for two. Yes, great job, Lydia Hall. She is able to, uh, stolen away by Christensen. Christensen. Shot up and foul. Nice. She, she's able to compete in gymnastics through, just like with Gillespie coming down here from Crashbury, she gets to practice and travel with the St. J Academy gymnastics team. And uh, so it's, it's really cool that Vermont allows students to do that, you know, go to different schools if they don't yes. have the sports and compete. Mm -hmm. like, like I said, at PA uh, yeah. uh, for Stowe, they come to PA for track yeah. and field and baseball, and PA kids go to Stowe for hockey and lacrosse. Yep. As the first free throw by Christensen, good. That's an uncharacteristic, uh, missed, sorry. That's an uncharacteristic yeah. miss. Yeah, Alexis is usually dead on from free throws. Makes her second one, and we got a violation. Nope, oh, foul. Good basket, though. So Alexis Christensen has three points on the evening. I wonder who that foul was Foul on. was called on number 30. He said 30, which I, we don't have a 30 on our. We do not. Oh, Haley Mitchell. Oh, okay. Must have been after the shot went down, maybe? Yes. Rebound Davison, 10 seconds. Plenty of time. Cats up two. Davison finds Gillespie outside Christensen to beat the buzzer, no good. So after one, it is a 19 to 17 lead for the Hazen Lady Cats. I'll Here. run down the scores real quick, if you don't mind, Lance. Yeah, let's do it up, then I'll give the uh, sponsors. Tess Luther with three, Alexis Christensen has three, Caitlin Davison has seven, Ella Gillespie with two, Haley Mashad with four, leads all cat scorers. For the Commodores, Kaylin Sullivan has three, Kyra Bradford with four, Ava Alameda with two, and Finley Jacobson with eight. You're watching Lady Cats Basketball here on HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call, doing color, James Salvis, play-by-play, -play, Griff on camera, Liz on tech, our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC.LNSD.org. Jumpstart your future. We'll be back in time for the second half. All right, second half action about to start here at the Den. It is the your Hazen Union Lady Cats taking on the Virgins Commodores tonight. Hazen with a 19-17 lead. 
You're watching Lady Cats Basketball on HCTV, Channel 1080, on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, Sports 5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Jumpstart your future, gmtcc.lnsd.org. James Salvis on play-by-play, -play, Lance Hall with the color. Griff on camera, Liz on tech. Good game tonight from the Den, James. Sure is. Outside there, you saw Davison tried a little drive, kicked it out to Christensen. Now they'll find Davison. That's her spot, and she missed. Halen Davison couldn't find it from the far corner there. Now Bradford brings it up. Bradford now inside. Oh, they tried to find Jacobson. Jacobson is their main target inside, Lance. Just real quick, James, well, we got a second here. I talked about Lydia down there in Middlebury. Emily Moeller is competing for Hazen as well in gymnastics down there tonight. She came in third all around. Not bad at all for uh, the Wildcats down there at uh, right. Lady the Cats Gymnastics event. being represented well in Middlebury tonight. Uh, yes, second, I'd third place all around. She also competes for St. J, I would assume. They, no, they compete as independently as Hazen. Um, so, you but know, they it, travel it, with St. J. Yeah, travel with St. J, but compete as Hazen. That's, that's what makes it really neat. Ooh, Luther. Um, Luther, long three, no good. Christensen got the rebound inside as Hailstorm. Back out. Haley the Mitchell. The barefoot Contessa inside. Pass over. Christensen. Three up. You bet. Tickled the twine. Haley uh, Alexis Christensen from downtown. Takes and makes the three. She's got six points, two threes, and a free throw. 22-17, five she point has lead. A, she has a two and a free throw and a three now. Nice feed inside. Off the glass was Bradford. Couldn't quite get it to go down, but uh, that was a nice pass in there. Tess Luther is going to pick up the foul. Her first. James, what is it with, when I've noticed this both sides of this with student section, the guys and the girls, when they make a three, they lay down over there like they're rowing. What's what's that all about? Do you know anything when about that? people make a free throw? A three, a three-pointer. Uh, you know, Lance, I really couldn't tell you. We're going to have to ask him. Bradford. Go Bradford. Down first. Bradford free first free throw good. She's got eight on the evening. Ties Jacobson for the scoring lead. Yeah, they'll have to ask Tyler or one of the guys. Save back in by Little, but there was no one there to get the ball, so it's going to be Hazen ball down here at this end. Luther is going to inbound to Davison. Davison brings it up now. Oh, Davison, nice in out dribble there. Step back, shoots it. Short. She's a little off on her three pointers tonight. She is. Davison, usually a money ball three point shooter, but not knocking it down at the high clip that she usually does tonight. Bradford brings it up now. Bradford now inside finds Jacobson. That little turnaround, it's been good all night. Gillespie with the rebound. Now Davison's going to push the pace. Oh, Davison, nice in out dribble. Takes it inside. Oh, Davison, that's up no good. Poked away. Saying it went off for Jen, so Hazen will retain possession down underneath. Christensen to inbound. I think Davison's going to make a cut here, Lance, Let's try and get the ball. Let's She's going to screen for uh, Gillespie. And Luther, Luther, she shot a couple threes tonight. Davison, nice move. Oh, Davison goes in out, spins to the rack, goes up, gets it to go. Caitlin Davison, what a move to the rack there and scores it. 24-18, 5.55 left to go here in the third. Cats on a little bit of a run. Davison with nine points. Oh, inside. Nice. Bradford floats it up, no good. Rebound down for Davison. Oh, Davison inside through coast. contact, gets it. Caitlin. She's heating up now. Coach Billy Waller wants a timeout. His cats have been on a run here. Uh, Kaylin Davison, the first cat and uh, the first lady cat in double figures tonight, Lance. She's got 11 points. They pushed it to an eight point lead here with 5.36 left to go in the third. Once again, cats uh, on a three game win streak coming in. Yes, hoping to make push it, it four. four. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Uh, on this day in 1937, James, Snow White and the Seven Doors was released. Disney's first full length animated film. I did not know that that was that old, Lance. It's I knew it was a old. classic. But Which one of the Seven Dwarfs would you be? Uh, I'm sleepy. Dopey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't there a happy one? Yeah, there's a happy one. Yep. That would be me. Mm, speaking of sleepy, it's also don't make your bed day. Yeah. I haven't. I got home from work. I took a little nap, and I didn't make my bed. I was going to get back in. I'm sure we all know dwarfs that are grumpy. We do know grumpy dwarfs, yes. I think my brother would be dopey. Pretty, oh. not, not that he's not smart, but. Right. And we haven't brought this up. This is the first day of winter, the official winter solstice today. 
Yes. Here December 21st, yes. 2022. Shortest day of the year. Just four days away from Christmas. Mm -hmm. Got your Christmas shopping all done? I have, Lance, I have. Yep. You know, we got our, my parents and I, we go to a family friends for Christmas Eve every year, and we do something, Lance, that uh, we do scratch-off tickets every year. We ah, do like nice. a scratch-off ticket, like pool, sort of. We all get $10, $1 okay. scratch-off tickets, scratch them off, throw them in a bag, and then we all pick randomly and scratch them off. Nice. Oh, we don't scratch them off. We all get 10 tickets and throw them in a bag, and we pick randomly and then scratch off the ones we get. That sounds cool. Three up, no good. Down now, rebound for Davison. Skip past the Luther. Got to keep that on the down low, though. The NCAA would not be happy. That's <laughs> true. Oh, Block. Christensen gets hacked inside. <laughs> oh, Davison, three up, no good. At least that one uh, caught a piece of the back iron there. Now Gillespie, she'll try the three and get it. Ella Gillespie, she's got five points off the three ball there. Nice shot there by Ella Gillespie. Eva Alameda getting ready to check in for for Jens. Yes, Sullivan outside, nice pitch across the way. That's off the front of the rim by uh, Stearns. That's no good. It's going to be out of bounds. Uh, gonna say it, I think Gillespie got a hand on that one. They're going to say it remains Commodore basketball. Yes. Lance, you know what I've heard? Now, I don't know how recent this is going to, or, or how soon this is going to come, but I heard that a shot clock is going to be on its way to Vermont basketball. Really? I yes. have not heard that. Caitlin Davison Ooh. inside. Oh, that might be an offensive foul. They're going to call a block inside. Oh, a block. Wow. Number four, Caitlin Sullivan. Sullivan. They're going to call the block. You see, in college, that would have been a charge. Uh, yeah. You know, Lance, that would have been a charge in college because in the paint, that's another thing, Lance, that I was about to get to that's also coming to Vermont High School basketball, the restricted area arc that you see, like, on the NBA courts, that little circle in the paint, and same yeah. in college basketball. I mean, Dennis McLaughlin with the call edge. Looked to me like Sullivan had the position in there. I mean, she was standing there stock still. I thought Davison got away with one right yeah, there. Yeah, I will agree with you on that one. I don't like to question officials, but... I don't either, but I think Davison got away with one. Yeah. She's got 12. She's had a good night scoring despite the off shooting performance. Yes. He scored well at the basket. Now Sullivan with it. She double carry. dribbled a uh, carry. Referee Don Taylor with the call. You see, that's one thing, Lance, you don't see called very often or carries, but when you see when the ref calls it once, you got to call it all night because mm -hmm. the, the carry is one of those calls you can't just call it once and then not call it for the rest of the evening. And I'll tell you, speaking of calls. Uh... Oh, what a screen there by DeGrosliers. Dennis McLaughlin, one of our referees here tonight, was here last night for that boys' marathon game against Stowe. 59 fouls called in that game. Oh my gosh. 59. I'm assuming the Hazen boys came out on top. They came out on top, but I did not think the game was ever going to end. Julia, back out. Now, Gillespie. Gillespie finds Davison. Oh, Davison looking, looking for room to go, but she can't find nothing. Now Luther, she'll find Christensen over Gillespie with it. Gillespie back up top. Davison looked like she wanted to shoot the three. Now she'll find Luther back in Baker range. Davison, she'll stop and pop. Oh, man, Lance, that one did everything but go, go in. Lance, I'll use uh, I'll credit John Lucier on that one. <laughs> that thing did everything but go everything in. Everything but go in. It was halfway down the cylinder. Jump ball called. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Commodores. 3.49 left to go in the third. Commodores have yet to score. In this half. In this half. Oh, and Not we'll score remain scoreless. Yes, Christensen <laughs> comes up with it. Christensen will push the pace. That's defense true. fell back nicely, though. The defense was, was moving they back. That's Christensen a nice three Ooh, over. No Rebound, good. Davidson up and underneath. Nice move if that would have. That would have been pretty if it had gone. Sure would have. Now Davidson, she's going to take the steal there. She'll take it inside, float it up. Oh, that one did everything but going. A la John Lucia. Another rebound for Davidson. I think she was looking outside for a pass for Christensen, but couldn't find her. Either that or I think she meant to bounce it off of her Jen's player and it missed him. Inside, yes. and, and they break their scoring drought with 3.07 left to go here in the third. So Kaylin Sullivan's going to get her first basket on the evening. Inside now, oh, DeGrosliers. Poked away by Jacobson. Now outside of Luther, why not? She'll shoot another. That's up no good. Rebound down Davison. Double Man, team she, on her. Talk about Revard, uh, re, uh, rebound. Revard like rebounding, yes. Yes. Maybe her and Tyler have been working on it. <laughs> 
Uh, Revard, who you'll see back in action tomorrow night for the boys team. Excellent I think, rebounder. I think this team, think. Billy Wallers, quickly learned you got to double up Caitlin Davison. You have to. Luther outside with it. Luther now finds Christensen. She'll try another three. That one no good. So Christensen and Davison tonight, Lance, have struggled shooting the three ball. Two normal knockdown three-point shooters for this Lady yeah. Cats team. Kaitlyn got a little hot there from inside early in this quarter. Yes, inside Jacobson now. She'll Feeds find it back out. Sullivan. Hazen defense playing tough now. Inside up, floater up. Oh, doesn't drop. Man. Nice rebound there, though. Outside Sullivan, she'll try the three. That's, That's up off. no good. Rebound down Gillespie. Now Luther is going to push it up. 205 left to go in the Outside third. Christensen, she'll tee that one up and get it. Dagger. Alexis, A dagger. Alexis Christensen, her th second three of the evening. See, the boys all laid down over there and they're like rowing. I don't, I'm going to find out what that's all about. We have to. I've seen it before, Lance. I just don't have, know. Okay. I don't know what it is. So Alexis Christensen, she'll pick up her second three of the evening, nine points on the night. Jacobson missed that pass. Ball goes out of bounds. And Jacobson, a John Stockton S passer. Yes. Out there. I'm sure Lance remembers John Stockton quite well. I remember quite John well. Stockton quite well. Stockton to Malone. Yes. The mailman. Always delivered. Except for in two NBA finals against the Chicago Bulls. But. <laughs> Who did deliver against the Bulls? Caitlin, coast to coast. Look at that. Caitlin Davis, and that's a thing of beauty. Let me tell you, Lance, when she drives and she takes it inside and wants to score, it's very few people who can stop her. Nobody's stop her, yeah. She's got 14, Lance. Good night. Oh, inside, foul. I'm going to call Davis. get Caitlin on the, on the reach. I've been trying to keep track of fouls, Lance, but I'm not doing a very good job. Well, I can tell you once they put it up, that's Caitlin's second. Yeah, I know, I know that. And I know Bradford has three, and Ava Alameda has two. Bradford loses a dribble. Or that's Sullivan. Sullivan loses a dribble. Kind of a jump ball going down. Lady Cat ball. It's going to go the way of the Wildcats, Lance. I started using that my senior year yeah, when like I commentated that. here. I like that. And I say when PA is in town, you can do the way of the Wildcats and the way of the Wolves. There you go. So glad to be back on call here tonight with Lance Hall. I can't believe they did not call Caitlin on a, some type of carry. On that, that was a carry. That's why I said, Lance, carry's a tricky call, Lance, because it's one if you call it once, you do have to call it all night long. Davison missed it and followed her shot. But I mean, that one was... Blatant. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Ray Charles could have seen that that was a carry. Yeah, and he's... He's those, blind and, and no longer with us. Yeah, I was going to say, for those of you who don't know, he's dead and blind. And he definitely could have seen that. Stevie Wonder, maybe. He's still and Stevie alive. Wonder could have seen that that was a carry. Now down the court, inside. Nice, nice move. Take. Lefty. Ava Francis. Went in with her left hand. On the right side, too. Yeah, and that's it tough. Off the window. That's tough. Tessa Luther now. She'll find Christensen. Christensen finds room to go. She's fouled inside. The Virgins fans groan for that one. And it's not happy about that. Referee Don Taylor with a call. You know, Lance... It's we'll only see. her first foul. Jacobson's first foul. 38.1 you know, left in the third. Yeah, you know, Lance, with you not being here tomorrow night, we'll see if old uh, Griff comes out of retirement there and throws the other headset on. You never know. It could happen. It very well could. Alexis Christensen good on the free throw. She's got 10. Second Hazen Wildcat in double figures. Good on that. She hit them both, so she's got 11. 36-22, your score. 35 seconds left in the third. Cats Jeru been all cats all the time. Does. Commodores have only scored four points so far in this quarter. Jacobson outside finds Sullivan now. Far side with it. That's LeBeau. LeBeau with it. LeBeau here finds number two, Ava Francis. Inside now, Jacobson. She's been quiet, but she'll get fouled there and head to the line. The line shooting two. Hailstorm picks up the foul. But yes, Lance, from people that remember a few years ago, uh, uh, Cody Davis, the senior year, who was in my grade, when I commentated the entire season that year for the Wildcats, for the boys and the girls. Um, Jacobson, free th first free throw, no good. Um, people remember me and Griff were the main two that year. That's right. Griff and I did a heck of a job, if you I don't say so myself. I remember hearing a few of those games. Really enjoyed commentating with Griff. Strong both free throws. Both those off the back of the iron. Jacobson, good player, too. Surprised she missed both of those. 13 seconds, 10 seconds. 
Oh, Davison, nice and out move, finds Christensen. We'll see if she can heat up again. Nope. That's up no good. Gillespie, Gillespie, nice rebound, turns and shoots it. And at the end of three, uh, the Commodores only managed four points in that entire quarter. Uh, the Cats put up a bunch of points. 38-22 is your score. Yes. Lance Hall with the call, uh, doing color. James Salvis on play-by-play. -play. Griff on camera, Liz on tech. You're watching Lady Cats basketball on HCTV. Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC.LNSD.org. Jumpstart your future. Uh, Lydia goes down there. She loves it. She is doing the uh, business administration class. And yes. loves it. Are you familiar with it? Do you do anything at uh, GMTC at all? Uh, I did not, Lance, but I had a lot of friends in high school who did and loved it. I had friends, you know, in automotive yeah. that wanted to be mechanics. You know, they got good uh, carpentry over there. They teach you how to be a carpenter. Yeah. People uh, build how They build how uh what they do one uh, every year, Lance, they have one, they have like the group of their students over there build a house for somebody yeah. every year. They yeah, do culinary one, arts, electronic technology, uh, uh, heating and ventilation. Friends, I had friends in culinary arts, yeah. yep. Uh, um, electrician work. Yeah. A lot of cool things over there, Lance. We toured uh, toured there a couple times when I was in high school. That was one of like our class trips to kind of yeah. see like what a day in the life of a GMTCC student was. I took a uh, QuickBooks class down there a number of years ago, and yeah, I was, facilities were amazing. Give a chase. That one's going to go out of bounds. Lance, you know, if you're looking for athletes to interview, you know, I think a, a couple interview some Thunder Road drivers, Lance. Yeah. I think some people would Ooh, really, really cool enjoy too, yeah. that. I don't know how well you know Thunder Road at all, but uh, back in the day, I did. I'm not too familiar nowadays. You could do some research. Day, yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. You're good at that, Lance. Inside Jacobson with it. She's fouled there by Hailstorm Haley Mitchell. Yeah, Lance, I think uh, a good one that was just on a podcast recently was uh, Pistol Pete Fecto. Mm, okay. Yep. Back in the late 90s. Yeah. They talked about him starting his racing career awful late. Oh, uh, that was no good there. That was a good take by Elena LeBeau, but she couldn't get it. Now Davison's going to push. Davison now. She'll find Luther top of the key. Over finds Christensen. Christensen has some unique shoes, too. Mm-hmm. Christensen inside, little floater, that's up heavy off the back iron, couldn't get it. Rebound to Jacobson. I remember Alexis, as a freshman, was so, so good for this Lady Cats sure. team that year. Kind of had a breakout season as a freshman. Alexis is deceptively fast, Decep you know, she's, look at that, you know, she gets inside, she puts herself in great position, she handles the ball well. She does, and shoots um, it very well. Yep, and a great free throw shooter, just a great all-around player. She is. Inside, outside, three-pointer, free throw, she does it all. Does she play soccer, Lance? Excellent soccer player as well. Excellent soccer player. Again, deceptively fast. She's got a wicked foot on her. I um, believe that. I'm sure scorer. she scores a lot of goals. Yep. Just a good athlete. Davison now. Davison, ooh, nice pass. Didn't see that one coming. Finds Christensen. Christensen. Oh, man, Lance. That one, that one. I don't know how that one didn't, didn't fall. Drop, yeah. Oh my gosh, John Lucier would be screaming about that <laughs> one. Jeez, um, Crow. Oh, rebound missed by Revar. Jacobson got it back. Outside now, that is Sullivan. This is a good Lady Cats team this year too, Lance. They are, they're solid. They're playing some great ball, great defense. So Virginia shouldn't be, you know, you know, too ashamed if they couldn't get much going. A good defensive Lady Cats team, too. Well, the double team down here. Nowhere to go. Christensen. Nowhere to go for Francis with that ball. Just Christ surrounded by white jersey. Yeah, Christensen now. Nice rebound. She's going to push the pace. Over there, Gillespie. She, oh, Gillespie shoots it up. No good. You know, Lance, one thing I do, um, I'll give a shout-out tomorrow night to Mike the Man Baker, who is entering his final season. Really? As JV head coach. The Man. I don't know if I was supposed to disclose that information or not. I did not know that. Ball on the floor. Are we going to have a travel, a tie up, or a foul? Jump Never ball. Jump ball. I don't know. I think uh, I think I saw Haley roll. Like could have been a travel. I think it could have been a travel too on uh, Hailstorm yep. Haley Mitched. As now we'll see. Uh, we will see Julia de Grosliers come in for her, and we will see Isabel Gowan come in for Ella Gillespie. 5.33 left to go in the game. Cats up 38-22. Gowan with it now. Gowan, you can tell, is very quick, Lance. Mm, she is. She's not quick. She's sudden. 
Davison three. That's Dag good. That, there is a dagger. You see, 41-22, 518 left. You see, that's the thing about Caitlin Davis and Lance when she's not having a good night shoot. You just never know when she's going to hit the shot. A good shooter's going to shoot. You, know, you, you are a shooter. There's a, and there's a good shooter right there as well. Yes. Ashton, Ashton Stearns. Back to back. Back to back threes there. Ashton Stearns picks up her first points of the night. She's got three. Isabel, nowhere to go inside. Tie up. Possession arrow. Give the ball to the Commodores. Quick rundown on the scoring for the Wildcats. Tessa Luther has three. Alexis Christensen with 11. 17 for Caitlin Davison. Seven for Ellie Gillespie. And four for Haley Mitchell. Today, actually, James, and I'm not kidding you, and I got this off the internet, so it's got to be true. It is Short Girl Appreciation Day. So to any of the girls out here that are vertically challenged, we appreciate you. Sure do. <clears throat> Lance, let me tell you, you know, <laughs> I see, you know, one of my good, good friends, uh, uh, one of my good family friends, uh, our good family friends, he posts a long time, uh, a lot of time, like. Beautiful pass from Caitlin to Alexis. Yes, Christensen with 13. Cats um, putting on a clinic on both ends of the f of the court out here tonight. What I was saying, Lance, is he posts different, like today's national, like taco day or something yeah. like that. So it's like different yeah. stuff like that. So you just never know. Oh, Ashton Stearns is starting to get hot for the Virgins Commodore. She has got six. And the timeout. Slumson wants a timeout. 43-28, cats up with 4-11 left, but I'm, I don't really feel safe right now. I mean, these, the, I think this Virginia team can put some points up quick. I do too. You see Stern starting to get hot shooting the yeah. three ball. She's hit back-to-back so, -back trays. We'll see what Randy has to say to his charges back here. Uh, you know, you're talking about all these different days. All right, I have a, I have a bunch of days. Today is National Kiwi Fruit Day. It is Ribbon Candy Day. Mm -hmm. It's National Look at the Bright Side Day. That yep. is you. That That's is me. you. That is you. Uh, first day winner. It's also National French Fried Shrimp Day. French Fried Shrimp. Yeah. I've never heard of that. No, me neither. I just like I've heard of shrimp. fried it's shrimp and yeah. just plain shrimp. I just like the cooked shrimp, you know, that you eat with cocktail sauce or whatever. Yeah. National Flashlight Day. Now, let's see. i got to ask you this. Have you ever done this? Remember when you were a kid and you would have a flashlight and you would go into a big room and you'd, and you'd point the flashlight up the ceiling and you would bring your other hand over to look like there was a giant hand coming yes. down over you? Yes. You, you did that too? Mm -hmm. I thought that was just me. <laughs> it's also Humbug Day. Um, Scrooge. And, uh, yeah, let's see my last. I already did Don't Make Your Bed Day, which I haven't. It is Crossword Puzzle Day. In 1913, the first crossword puzzle ever was printed. Well, not ever, but it was printed in the New York world. It had 32 clues. Jeez. So your first, first crossword put into print, I'll say. Yeah, Lance. Was on day in 1913. Yeah, Lance. Boy, my, my grandfather, who you knew fairly well, he, yes. uh, he loved crosswords. I yes. used to. I remember when I would go up there as a kid. Him and my, him and my grandmother would be doing them in the paper every day, in the Hardwick Gazette when that was still a thing. Christensen three up, no good. Short on that one. Rebound for Jens. Kendra Jackson, another girl that's got a little bit of size for this Virgins Commodores team. We'll see how they come in out of the timeout. Coach Billy Waller. Now here near side with it. That's Little. Oh, Little inside finds Jackson. Trying to use her side back out. Oh, Jackson, nice move to the rack. Floats it up, no good. Rebound down, Gowan. Oh, they'll hit the deck, jump ball. Sessner will give the ball to your Lady Cats. Gillespie comes in, DeGrosier goes back out. I wonder if she is uh, related to the great Jennifer DeGrosier. Yes, she would, uh, Jen would be her aunt. I figured either aunt or mother. Yeah, no, aunt. Oh, Davison almost gets it stolen, and let me tell you, that's a tough thing to do to pick Caitlin's pocket. Outside there, Gillespie over finds Davison now. Davison back up, finds Gillespie. Cross finds Luther. Luther outside finds DeGrosliers. Skip past Christensen finds Gillespie. Tipped out Christensen. Oh, she can't save it. Like you said, the sneaky speed for yeah. Alexis Christensen. Uh, Jen DeGrosse there was an, an athlete. I mean, look up here, she's 1,900 points. All t Hazen's all-time leading scorer. scorer. Um, fantastic soccer player, just a great athlete. To score almost 2,000 points, to score yeah. even 1,000 points is an, incre is an incredible and impressive yeah. accomplishment, let alone almost two. I, I don't know if I've... Wow, nice duck under right there by Bradford. That was a nice cut. Ducked right under the defense. 
43-30, they closed it within 13 after going ice cold in the third. They're heating it up a little bit here in the fourth with 2.39 left. Bradford with 10 points, first uh, double-figure score. Luther. Tessa takes a three. Oh, oh wow. And she got it. 46-30. Tessa Luther. The barefoot Contessa. Tessa Luther with six points. She's had a quiet scoring night as you see the boys get up from rowing. Yep. And beautiful. Andrew Jackson. Oh, oh wow. man. Hand off. Man, Taylor. these hazing rims have been unforgiven tonight, Lance. Yeah. I knew I had made it as a broadcaster when Tessa put up a quote from me from soccer along with a picture of her playing soccer and a quote from a call that I made on her social media. When you make a teenage girl's social media, you know you've made it. Yes. Oh, Christensen, that did everything but go in. And a foul down low. I think it had a picture of her trying to trap a ball and it said the barefoot contestant with some fancy footwork right there, quote Lance Hall. That's what it said? I felt, yeah. You know, Lance, I, I hope, felt completely validated. I hope that happens to me someday, Lance, but I know there's there's some people that still quote my quotes. I got to tell you, I, when I saw I saw her like a little while later, I, of course, I'm not on Snapchat or whatever it was on, I don't know, Instagram, one of those things. Yeah, you're a Facebook um, guy. I'm a Facebook guy. Yeah, I mean, all our grandparents are on it now. So anyways, <laughs> but when, you know, my kids are on it and they tell me about it and they showed it to me, I, you know, I sought her out the next time. I saw, I'm like, I can't believe you did that. Yeah, uh, DeGro... Uh, DeGrosley is at the free throw line now. She'll shoot her first. And banks at home, Lance. Her Aunt Jen was one of the most disciplined, driven people that I've ever, ever known. You know, um, Jennifer DeGrosley is, whenever, yeah. whenever I walk in this gym, it's one name that I always look at up there yeah. on that thousand point banner. To our left, just a heck of an athlete. It's one yeah. name that is always going to ring. Uh, Ring through here in Hazen. And, and she, is, she was one of those people that when, you know, practice was over an hour later, she's still out, you know, practicing free throws or practicing cuts or on the soccer field, you know. Shooting. Doing some running or something, you know. Is Julia, uh, is that Dan's sister? I believe so, yes. I believe, yes. Inside, Ella Gillespie now finds Davison. Davison finds Collier. Collier inside finds the Groslier. Oh, Davison made a nice cut on the far side. It was wide open. There's now. Bailey. And Bailey, that's up no Bailey good. Bailey Christensen in now. So we uh, do we have? Nope. Alexis is not in, so Alexis we are not going to have the A to the B. A to the B. We got the B, not the A. We've had the A for most of the game. Oh, Gillespie takes it inside. She's hacked. There we go the line. Looking like Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> back in his younger days when they came out with the Hackashack call. With uh, 122 left, and uh, Cat's going to be cruising 47-30. I'm going to say they're going to push their record to 4-1. and one. And they play next week. <laughs> Ella makes her. I don't have a schedule. you have a schedule on yours? Uh, I think there's one on the back here. Yep. Somewhere. They play again. Uh, let's see. Well, they go on the road. The 28th. At Fairfax. Right. Then we'll see him in uh, 2023, uh, Wednesday the 4th, playing Winooski. We'll not be here for that one, unfortunately. I'll be here for that one. I will try, and I still follow HCTV, though, closely. Try and tune into the games. Gillespie Go missed them both. Rebound for Jens. No, Lance, she made her first. Because Hazen was at 47, I believe. Okay. I thought I saw it didn't, but... And then again, I've watched a lot of basketball. I'm pretty sure Isabel. they were at 47 before Shakes she shot. Bakes, one minute left. They're now top of the key, Bailey Christensen. Now we'll find um, Gillespie. Now outside, Bailey Christensen finds Gillespie. Oh, and, a, and another alum in attendance tonight, Abigail Ainsworth. Mm -hmm. One heck of, what heck of a basketball player she was, too. Yes. Scrapper, too. Definitely. 35 seconds. So yeah, a couple a couple Hazen, uh, recent Hazen alums in attendance with Abigail Ainsworth and Cody Davison. Mm -hmm. Macy Moeller, I think, was over there as well. You may be correct, Lance. I will take a moment quickly and wish my daughter, Joey Marie, and one day in advance a happy 21st birthday as Julia DeGrosier goes up, makes it 50-30. Joey will turn 21 tomorrow. December 22nd. And it's gone by way too fast. Oh, no, Lance, you were right. Ella Gillespie did miss both because Julia had a free throw that made it 48. Okay. 
Yes, and then tomorrow I will wish Joey a happy birthday on the yes, stream. Yes, I appreciate you uh, because the one thing taking Lance, up the slack for me. My, my greatest moment as an HCTV commentator was my senior year when I commentated here. They played People's Academy on my birthday. Shot good for Virginia. And the, and the crowd in serenaded you. They did. Macy Muller led the charge that night, actually. Nice. Lady Cats pushed their record to 4-1. Uh, four straight victories here at home by a score of 50-32 to 32 over a game for Jen's Commodore team. This, this is an athletic team. They're really, really good. They are. I think they got potential to really make a run at things here. Just got to figure a couple things out. Yes. James Salvis with the call. Uh, Lance Hall with color. You've been watching this on HGTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, Liz on tech. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522, we support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center GMTCC, Jumpstart Your Future. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody, and don't forget to live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.